Hey, Tony Gasson here, popping in real quick. Been alone. We just getting back in town. And uh, I say, man, let me get my little Sunday sermon in. Y'all got to forgive me all these lights behind me, my boys, cleaning out the car. And, um, you know, I was thinking today, a lot of times when you call to certain things, and that's what you got to understand in your calling, because your calling might be serving your mother or your father in their old age right now. Your calling might be raising the kids that you brought into the world. Your calling might be on your job and your career, might be at your church. But in your calling, what you're gonna realize is that you have to be very careful of comparison while you in your calling. Because other people, other people, you know, calling is gonna be different from yours. And some people wouldn't call AT. Hey, after you do that, finish getting your other stuff out of the car, all right? You could just come in and out as you need to. Huh? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Tia help you find it. Look up in the trees. And what you got to understand about a calling is, is sometimes other people could be operating in something that they weren't called to, they just came to. And, and a lot of times when you call, you'll be comparing yourself to, you'll be called and comparing yourself to those who just came. And what you also have to realize when your calling expands and it's bigger than just serving in your home or in your city or at your job, what you have to remember is that anytime God brings clarity, the adversary will bring confusion. So there will always be two people raised up at the same time. And even in your home, or on your job, whenever you're being used by God, somebody will be being used by the adversary to cause confusion and to cause division so that the people are divided so that not everybody can buy into the work that is being done. You got it? And so that's what you have to remember. Remember and understand that there will be times where you will be weary. There will be times where you will be weary. You will get tired. And you will feel like giving up. And it's in those times that you have to remind yourself of why you got started. You got to remind yourself of who called you and what the purpose of what you're doing. And the other thing is that the negative will be so loud sometimes it'll drown out the positive. And, and I ain't sharing nothing with you that I don't have to share with myself. I'm just teaching as I learn. I'm just sharing as I learn, you know, lifting as I climb. Because as every time we step past a pit, a pothole or a pitfall, or we jump a hurdle, or we break through a barrier, or we see a roadblock or a detour, every time we do that in life, somebody else is getting ready to come right behind it so you got to be able to say hey hey watch that watch that hole now and and they say oh wow thank you i would have broke my leg i probably would, and my knees bad i wouldn't have made it now see you you fell in the hole and was able to get back up and keep going what you got through will ruin somebody else what you overcame will kill somebody else and that's why we also not only have to live, but we have to learn and then we have to teach the lesson. Even if that lesson under the sound of your voice is just your children, you never know when your child will be raised up and used to reach hundreds or to reach thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions or hundreds of millions or billions so you never know the one person you speaking into see a lot of time we feel like oh my, well oh god didn't fully use me oh i feel insignificant you know why god didn't do this and do that in my life why god didn't show up in this way in my life and god may be saying i use you to be the stabilizer for your son or for your daughter 
for your niece, for your nephew, for your brother, for your sister, for your uncle, your auntie, your mama, your daddy, because I needed to send them into uncharted territory. But it was you being their anchor, their stability, their confidant that allowed them to operate in their purpose. So your purpose is just as great as their purpose. Just because what they are called to do looks a little different or very different from what you're doing does not mean you are insignificant because you have to serve somewhere. And sometimes you're going to be doing the work and you're going to feel like coming down from that work. You're going to feel like quitting. You're going to feel like giving up. And you're going to have to be reminded of the small, still voice that you feel in your spirit. And then you're going to have to be reminded of all the voices that you hear. Or even if it's one voice that you hear that says, listen, I need you. I thank you. I appreciate you for what you're doing. You never know what you're doing. A lady sent me a blessing today on Cash App. I wish I could swipe out of the camera and read it. But it said something to uh, for your service or for the, or for the lives that you're touching. And she don't know, you know, what that meant to me. She don't know what that meant to me because in, in the in the midst of me just being there and like, man, I text my wife today. I was driving because she stayed home because she feeling a little under the weather. And I was driving back and I text my wife and I and I say, baby, I'm tired. I say, I'm tired. Just, and not not of driving or, or anything like that, of of serving. You know, so this message ain't ain't this message for me, and I'm just sharing it with you. Just in case you might be in a season. Just in case you might be going through. I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself. And, and that's what a lot of people fail to realize is that a lot of times I'm talking to myself. On my motivational quotes and stuff, a lot of times I'm talking to myself. And just sharing it just in case it could help somebody else. Unless I'm talking to a woman, then I'm talking to myself. Unless it's directed to a woman, I'm talking to myself. Even if I'm talking to a grown boy, I'm talking to myself. Cause we all got grown boy in us. We all got to be challenged. We all got to we all, you know, feel weak. We all get tested and tempted. You know, that don't ever go away completely. So I want you to understand that everybody in some kind of struggle. Everybody going through something. Everybody gonna have to deal with something. Everybody gonna have to feel something. And you have to be reminded. That your calling, that your purpose is bigger than you. And you got to be able to stay in the fight, regardless of what it looked like. Because, see, sometimes it's going to look like sometimes it's going to look like you losing. Sometimes it's going to look like nothing has happened. Sometimes it's going to look like things getting worse instead of getting better. But you have to stay the course. And it's going to be season. See, you got to understand that the whole year is not just fun in the sun. The whole year ain't just summer. See, there's a summer, but there's also a winter. And you're going to have fall and you're going to have spring. And every season is going to have its blessings. And every season is going to have its lessons. And you have to embrace, embrace every season. And you have to make sure that you don't go into the winter with your summer clothes on. And you have to make sure that you don't go into the summer with your winter clothes on. And you have to remain mentally conditioned. Mentally conditioned for the work that you call to do. And you can never compare your work to someone else's work. Because although it may look similar, it may be totally different in the purpose and the season and the reason for why it's being done. And just because somebody looks like they do what you do, they might be sent by somebody else. So you might be a coach and another person might be a coach, but that don't mean y'all working for the same source. You might be a teacher and another person is a teacher. That don't mean y'all working for the same source or that you got the same purpose or that you got the same goals so you got to be reminded of that and you got to stay the course in what you call to do hey 
this Tony Gaskins, I'm 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 praying, you know, as I pray for myself, I'm praying for you, for your strength, for your wisdom and clarity, for your endurance, for your peace, for your poise, for your posture in the midst of battle, in and out of season, when you're going and coming, that your steps are ordered and that your path is graced with mercy and favor. It's Tony Gaskins. God bless you. We'll talk soon.